Kurt. Hello. Fuck you! Isn't it uh, And we're backstage here, right? You almost have to be that way. He's a, do, you, do you admire, um, what's his name, Geraldo Rivera? Geraldo Rivera. Actually, I waited for that tomb to open. Kurt, don't. No. Yeah, I did too. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, did that actually get on the... I thought you were going to just do it on cassette. I, I did, uh, wait a second. Well, uh, we always come together. Well, we, we take the audio, but... Do you want me to have my audio going to be the fuck out of you? So have you ever heard of, do you admire, um, Dr. Demento? Yeah, yeah, he's... Five. Ow. Uh, I decided Kurt, I liked that. Like that. I thought he was really That's annoying at first, but now I like him. Remember Pencil Neck Geek? He grew on me. Yeah. Zachary actually was cooler. Ever to Zachary? Back when I was a kid, life was going <laughs> swell. Going swell. So something happened blew everything to hell. Exactly. And then my daddy came in all pale and weak and said the woman in the block is a universal geek. Michigan? Yeah, remember oh, that no, place in California? Yeah. Yeah. So, Kurt, um, I went outside. How was the Toronto show? How did that go? Because I was in Toronto at that time when you played at Maple Leaf Gardens. Don't say that I'm making any kind of ethnic stereotypes. I'm not making any stereotypes because they're not PC. <laughs> Do you remember that show at all, Kurt? No. <laughs> Maple Leaf Gardens in November? Mm, that was dumb. Um, I remember that with the little backstage. It was, it was a nice temperature because I think it was an ice hockey rink. Yeah, it was Maple Leaf Gardens. And um, I waited outside, you know, for a couple hours afterwards, waiting for you guys to leave. How did you eventually leave? My limousine and um, cop escort. Did you leave pretty early? Because, like, they brought out, you know, the prop, the prop out, and then, you know, you kept, I kept on waiting and waiting, and then I saw a little minivan pull out, and I thought a guy hulked over the back seat. Was that you? Like, did you wait, like, two hours? Or did you get, like, did I wait there for nothing because you'd already left? Bam, 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 we did. I just remember leaving pretty much right after the show, within about 20 minutes or so. I met one of the guys from the Kids in the Hall, Scott. That's right. Nice we person. were mingling with famous people. They never talk to hacks like you. Fuck no. <laughs> and what's They're your, on TV what's your way every in? night. On Comedy Central <laughs> and on the Canadian TV. And they know oh, Lauren Michaels. And we, I got to meet Lauren Michaels and Don Pardo <laughs> and everybody. Because we're famous people. During the 1960s, Kurt, there was a big punk scene, as you realize, in Northwest. You know, the, the, the Sonics, the Wailers. The, I hate the Sonics, no, they're stupid. The, the Boot Men, mm -hmm. the Wailers and all those other bands. And I was reading that um, your good friend Jesse Reed, his dad played in a surf band that released a surf record. That's true. Isn't that weird that he... How do you know what that? What were they called? Where did you read it that? It was called the Bagpiper. What was the name of their... Where did you read that? Uh, come as you are. The Beachcombers. Come as you are? Yeah. What do you mean come as you are? The book? Yeah. The Michael Azarad. Mm. He's obsessed with Jesse Reed. Because uh, the Beachcombers, but it was a, cause they, were they pretty cool? I thought, like, I love those 60s wailing frat garage bands in the Northwest. No, it didn't have much taste. Was it was pretty generic. Again? He's did born again now. the house? Yes, he did. He tried to revive me for a while. They also said in that book that your uncle Chuck was in a garage band too, and he released records, or did he release anything? No. Is that Mary? Really? She put out a single. She financed herself. She's a country and western born again Christian. And my uncle Chuck was in a couple of bar bands. You know, they just played covers like Green's Clearwater. He had a Lucite drum set. He was left-handed, and it wasn't very good. Is that Chuck with the red hair? Mm -hmm. Is that Chuck that's gay? No. Oh. Is it the one that we go to went to Christmas? That one, Chuck? The nice one. Right. With the son that has your cousin who has the other band? Although he went to jail one time for um, exposing himself. Green from Bellevue. That's his cousin's band. Did you first meet Courtney? And this is Courtney Love. Did you? I've heard, because we're here in Canada, Vancouver, BC, Canada. I heard a rumor. I think I might have read it in Interview Magazine. That Kurt and Courtney first met at a deal. <coughs> at a that's tough. That's Did you first meet at a DOA gig in Portland, Oregon? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so there is, there is really a Canadian connection there. <laughs> Wasn't it noise? No. It was one of our shows. It was our show. It was my show. I played with DOA a couple times. I don't remember where. But, but was that so? A Canadian connection, a Canadian band, has something to do with Kurt and Courtney. Like, yes. I don't honestly. I don't remember which I don't show remember, it was. I was too drunk. Me too. Do you remember your first time in Canada at all, Kurt? No. I might have been a small child. I visited some gardens. We went across on a ferry. Vancouver. Bouchard Gardens. Right. 
when I was a small child. That's actually where No Means No are from. Mm. Sure. And the Neo is a legendary speed band. Mm-hmm. And if it wasn't for Neos, Victoria. yeah, that's what I say. You have a Canadian nanny, another Canadian connection. We like uh, Vic BC. We don't like the rest of it so much. What is her name? Uh, what is your nanny's name? His name's uh, Mike. And his does he have a girlfriend? Jessica. Yeah. I think she might even been. She might be from Vancouver too, right? She's from Minneapolis. From Minneapolis. She has that fancy. Uh, you know that fancy that's called Hit It or Quit It. She's like a riot girl person. She's like 15. No, Chris here. Chris, come over here for a moment. This is Chris of the rock and roll band Nirvana. Oh. Now, Chris, you worked earlier in all in your life in Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. Do you realize there are no Taco Bells in Canada? Good for you. Actually, at least in BC. But there's no Mexicans in Canada. Actually, there's one in Alberta. There's some in Alberta. That's right. So do you think that's contributed all to the growth of bands in BC that we do not have a Taco Bell? Is this a good or a bad thing? I don't know, man. Canada can be ethnically diverse, which is beautiful, part of the thing and stuff, but judging the... Actually, you look like a Dukabor when you put that thing on. Dukabors are awesome, man. They're awesome. Did They're you, anarchists. Did you go, are there still Dukabors around? Yeah, there are. Yeah, I, I'm really into the Dukabors. They used to run around naked and, and uh, they were from Russia, right? Yeah. And they had their anarchist colony. And was, How did they go under? I forgot. I think there was some rise and stuff. They're still going strong. And they're, they were, they're I'm the next Duhobor Messiah. So you can tell by the way I spit food out and the way it's caught in my mouth. And they're from Canada too.